Hello everybody, welcome back to Viking MTG. Uh, and I have some pack cracking fun here. Uh, got a really good deal on a box M25, so why the heck not? Uh, got a great deal on it. So, I have done pretty well on this product. I had one subpar box uh, that was definitely less than what I paid for it, but I had that triple pack that I got at Target where I hit a foil chalice and a jace in. That cost 30 bucks and the foil chalice is like 60 and jace at the time was 100. So that was easy. And then uh, I bought some loose packs and I've hit a jace out of one, you know. and I've done really well on this set for the most part. Uh, so let's see how we do today. Uh, it's the last, the only box I've seen in a store here locally. Uh, so they're they're everywhere. Of course, you can get them on eBay on uh, Amazon for like 140. But I think they're back up to like 160 on Amazon. So and Jace has went back up. Jace had dropped to like 50. Now he's uh, back up to 85. There's Spike Shot Goblin, Ash Barons. There's a cool dollar right there. Fallen Angel and an Elvish Piper. And Foil Treasure Keeper. Or I see this card, I think Trapper Keeper. I don't know why. Uh, put that there. That's a uncommon of some value. And a Goblin Token. What's wrong with the Goblin Token right now in Standard? The Goblin Deck, I'm sorry to say it, the Standard Goblin Deck does not have the power it can't I haven't been beaten playing my uh, playing my Golgari deck and my Boros Angels against it it hasn't been able to beat me ever we have a Stang Myriad Landscape Ravenous Chupacabra he's seeing a lot of play and a Mystic Snake and a Wild Heart Invokers are full. So not a great start, but I wish Piper's still a couple bucks. But who cares about the snake? Nobody cares about the snake. You can still make money on this set, that's for sure. Undead Gladiator. Cross and Colossus. Lore scale cultil <laughs> and a uh, luminarch ascension and a foil urgraders. Urgraders are still cool. Remember urgraders from the day. It was an awesome card. It was all, all about creatures back in uh, 94, 95. That whole time period. The first. Three or four years of the game. Probably the first five years of the game. Creatures were what it was about. Big derpy things were very powerful. You didn't have all the crap you have now. The crazy exile stuff and all that. Just didn't exist. You wanted to get big, huge derpy creatures out. You wanted to find ways to trick them on the board. We have a goblin war drums. Valor and Akros, Urbis Project Protector, and an Izzet Chemister. You definitely did not see as much control as you see now. You see, you still saw it, of course. And a Foil Lightning Bolt. Spicy. That's an awesome hit. Foil Lightning Bolts are worth a few bucks right now. Gosh, what's a Foil Lightning Bolt sitting at? For some reason, those things are on the rise. I don't know why they're so popular, but I guess they're just played in a lot of decks. Let's check it out. TCG. I just do, uh, my pricing, I do TCG mid. Generally. Uh, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Where are you? There you are. A regular lightning bolt right now is $3.24. And the foil lightning bolt's 8 bucks. Foil Uncommon for $8. Pretty good. 
pretty good. Yeah, three dollars is what they're selling at. And that's lightly played. If you're building a deck and it's an expensive deck, in other words, modern, do what I did with my five color humans and get light played stuff. Core Firewalker, Curiosity, Lower Scale Cobble, and a Fetid Heath. Uh, there's nothing wrong with getting light played, you know, not damage, but light to moderate play. There's nothing wrong with it when you're going to be playing it. If you're buying it to collect, that's another story. I'm going for near mint. But if I'm buying a Horizon Canopy and I can get one for moderate to light play for 20 bucks less... I'm going for it, as long as it isn't terribly damaged. If it's just, you know, a little, little bit of wear, a little bit of scratching, who cares? Perilous Mirror, Ordeal of Helion, Murder of Crows, and a Rugged Prairie. So we've got two of the land cycle in a row. And another Foil Uncommon, an Ishan Shade. That's an interesting card, man. Three and three black, protection from white for a 5-5 five, five legendary creature. That's a big derp. It's a big derp that white can't touch. Great against the white deck. Oh, double sided token. Fish in a Kraken. A Blightning. Mishra's Factory. Zulaport Cutthroat and a Hell's Caretaker with a foil white mane lion. As you guys know, if you watch my channel for any period of time, I love foils. I love foils so much. And that's one thing about opening Masters product. I don't open a lot of it. Um, I definitely don't have a history of opening it, that's for sure. I do it on occasion. And when I do, you know, I very much enjoy, uh, I don't always open Masters product, but when I do, I enjoy opening uh, foils, that's for sure. Regrowth, Quicksilver Dagger, Sigh of the Shinobi, and a Living Wish. Living Wish is okay, and a foil, foil rare is Summoner's Pact. I do believe that's worth a couple bucks, is it not? A foil Summoner's Pact? Oh yeah, it's a six dollar card and in foil that is an eight dollar card. Could be a better foil rare, but also could be a worse foil rare. I've seen two foil rares in this set as well. We've had zero mythics thus far. None. We have an eight dollar foil uncommon and an eight dollar foil rare. I think Living Wish is worth a couple bucks. And I know the Prairie and the Fetid Heath are worth a couple bucks too. Let me see. Living Wish, where are you in the, on the value list? Will they start living? No, never mind. That's Living Death. I guess it's not even on the, not even on the upper echelon, so to speak. Nope. But, uh, Fetid Heath and Rugged Prairie are up there. Fetid Heath is eight bucks, which is good. Rugged Prairie's five, so we're doing okay so far. We still need a big hit. We need a in Staring Bridge or a Chalice, or I'd even take a Port or Imperial Recruiter. Jace would certainly be nice. We have a Dauntless Cathar, Goblin and War Drums, a Con Ming, Sleeping Dragon. And a Merfolk Looter. Wait. Oops, miscounted. Merfolk Looter. And a Magus of the Wheel. And the Dauntless Cathar foil. An Elf Warrior token. That's okay. It could have been a jank full rare, like a. I don't know, something crappy, like a Vesuvian Shapeshifter. I've hit some pretty terrible foil rares out of Master sets, and it's horribly disappointing. It's 
I take it as an okay thing to hit a $8 foil rare because I've pulled 50 cent foil rares out of a $150 uh, at release $200, $250 box. We have a Spike Shot Goblin, Ordeal of Heliod, Freed from the Real, and an Ensnaring Bridge. There we go. $45 right there. There's our first Mythic, and it's an Ensnaring Bridge. And a Foil Nettle Sentinel. And a Morph Token. Yeah, well, that's alright. Summoner's Pack's in the uh, like top 15 value, so I'll take it. Fathom Seer. Oh, that's a common. Uh, Stang. Browbeat. Nyx Fleece Ram. And then a Sousa. Sousa's good, isn't it? Yeah, 20 bucks. Now we're on, uh, now we're in value town. All right, a Susan and Snaring Bridge back to back. That's sixty bucks right there. Almost, we're about halfway there. Maybe a little over halfway. Total value. Oh, and all of his pipers at three bucks. That's good. We have a regrowth, an Iyer Shaman, a Cor uh, Corona Zealot, and then a Chroma is our second mythic. Not the best, uh, not the best mythic, but that's only the second. And a Quicksilver Dagger. All right, let's get that Jace. I find TCG players uh, pricing to be quite hilarious sometimes. It shows the high for Vendillion Click at eighteen hundred dollars, medium at twenty, and low at sixteen. I, I don't understand the pricing on there sometimes. It showed uh, at one point. Land of War Elf from M19 was $35 or something dumb like that. We have a Core Firewalker, Curiosity, Invigorate, and a Triskaidekaphobia. Uh, Foil Dusk Legion Zealot. I really don't understand why they printed that card. That card out of Rivals. I don't get it. So many other cards they could have printed in Rivals. And they print that. Dusk Legion Zealot. We have a Peerless Mirror. Ishin Shade. A Kavu Predator. And a Hanna. Ships Navigator. With a Foil Pillage. Pillage, burn. All right, more token. We have a twisted image, quicksilver dagger, sigh of the shinobi, and a plague wind. The skeletonized. Hopefully, we're running up with a two mythic box. That'd be a pooper. We have a swift boot, swift foot boots, 
another Ishin shade, freed from the real, and a decree of justice. And we have a Ruthless Ripper foil. Pretty card. Cool looking foil. And a whale. We have an Ancient Stirrings, Zada, Heater and Grinder, Swords to Plowshares, and a Twilight Mire. Twilight Mire is cool. $8 card. And a Foil Dolabolic Edict. And print that in standard. Be a great way to get a Carnage Tyrant off the board. Or any hexproof creature. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a line at the top of the card. There you go. Some kind of a miscut. There's like a line. Weird. I don't see it on the rest of the cards. We have a Twisted Image. Fierce Empath. Pyroclasm. And a Doomsday as our third mythic. Ugh. 250. The foil totally lost. Soldier token. Well, that definitely uh, blows up our odds of getting uh, breaking even on this box. At this point, it's Chalice or Jace. To even have a chance. And it probably needs to be a foil chalice. We have an ancient craving, Immemort of the Open Fist, Humble Defector, and a Rest in Peace. Good card, but not gonna get us there. It's six bucks. We have a plummet. Plummet's always a cool card. But I'd definitely rather have a uh, crushing canopy. We have a Curse Catcher, Pillory of the Sleepless, Genju of the Spires, and a Biden of Thessa. Thassa. And a Foil Cascade Bluffs. Nice, so we have a double four rare box. Foil Cascade Bluffs is a good card. I'm pretty sure that's over $10. Let's check her out. Come on, TikTok. All right, yeah, it's ten dollar card. So we're getting value on the little cards. The ensnaring bridge shirt certainly is in a bad pull. Um, yeah, good, good, good value on the little cards. We hit the Asuza. We could still hit a uh, port. I suppose we could still hit another mythic too. Not, uh, not totally likely. We have an undead gladiator. Stampede Driver, Pyroclasm again, and a Pact of Negation. Yeah, it's still a $10 card. I'll take Pact of Negation and a Retraction Helix Foil. Like I said, we're getting all the value, the smaller value cards. Alright, let's cross our fingers for a Port or a Jace. We have a Fiend Hunter, Willow the Wisp, a Rancor, and a Flash. The foil is a foil Kindle. We have a Heavy Arbalist, a Caustic Tar, Fierce Empath, 
and a rat catcher. My foil is Relentless Rat. So a foil Relentless Rats is nice. I thought Relentless Rats had some value these days. I may be wrong though. I thought it was up in value. Yeah, it's a $1.50 card and in foil it's $1.39. It's a little something. Find the value where you can. And a last pack. Need some last pack luck here to recoup our uh, cost. We did all right, but not back to 140, that's for sure. We have a brood, oops, what am I doing? We have a brood hatch Nantuko, Simeon Spirit Guide, Quicksand, and our final rare is a Eladromri's Call. Oh, that's a good card. Five, four, five, four bucks. And a Savannah Lions. So, best hit snaring bridge, but uh, we did well. I I'm happy with the box. We got a lot of value cards here. We probably got a hundred bucks worth of cards. Um, maybe a little over a hundred. Uh, I know I enjoyed cracking this. I hope everybody else enjoyed watching it. Uh, so I'm gonna post this video today and I got some other stuff uh, some other stuff I'm gonna crack here and post the rest of the week so hope everybody enjoyed this like I said I know I did uh, keep an eye out for more videos please like comment subscribe let me know what you thought your likes and your your you know, sub subscribing and liking and commenting helps other people see my videos and Hopefully get more subscribers. And the more subscribers I get, the more giveaways gonna do I'm gonna do and you know the the older the stuff I'll open. Because I'm not gonna open my old stuff until I have a much larger audience. So we'll talk to you later. Peace.